That's anybody's guess Ain't no good reason for getting all depressed Fire up your pad and pencil I give you a piece of my mind In my opinion nation The sun is gonna surely shine Today is officially the last day of me and dad's 11th year of marriage. Tomorrow is... It's October 3rd. We have a lot to do today. Today, dad said he's in charge of the cake. I've already picked up the champagne for tomorrow. Tomorrow, we are going down to the Arlington Museum of Art to see the heroes and villains Disney exhibit. They've got like Maleficent's costume. They've got the dress from Beauty and the Beast. They've got the dress from Cinderella. It's going to be great. We don't know where we're eating lunch, but in the evening we have a volleyball game for Kenzie, but right after her game, we're going to leave and go to sushi. Uh, and I got new chapsticks, honey apple and mango malfunction sorbet. Oh, okay. Bye. Um, the last week has been hell on earth. Here's some update. Isn't that like so disgusting? Yes. Hold on, you wanna see my knee? It's the worst and it still hurts. This is my knee. Gross. But that's a lot of progress to where it was. <sighs> we shall wait for dad for one final on-camera kiss in our 11th year of marriage, okay? Okay. <laughs> Okay, see ya. And for the Holgate family historians, on the last day of our 11th year of marriage, it was 90 degrees outside. That's crazy. What is the temperature where you are? Ladies and gentlemen, 98 degrees. Cool. Bro, what? Welcome to a sunny day. Look, dad's surprising us. We're gonna do a nothing bun cake for our anniversary cake this year. Blowing up, I have two, just pretend to have one here. Two 11 balloons. Two one balloons that will make 11. Would you look at that little handsome boy? He's blowing up. Oh my knee, I bent it too much. You know. I would keep something. I'm gonna do it right now, I promise. Because if it dries and you bend your knee. It's I know, it's, that's what I think just happened. But anyways, dad's making the balloon banner to put up there for the 11 years. And then um, he's gonna put it up there. What are the colors of your anniversary? <sighs> Lime. Oh, sorry, cool. Hey, hi, hello, I'm at Walmart. I need these because the normal ones, they stick to me and it's literally like torture trying to get them off. There's only two. Picture at me, six in the morning, putting up the bath water, trying to get it off me because it sticks. It hurts so bad. You think I should have two? That, there's only 10, which means you're Ooh. using two a day. You're using two this is what I have to night, morning, day, day. How many in one That's day like do you want me days. to use? Gotcha. Oh. I miss getting to buy stuff like that, and like this, and like that. Like, I never got to buy anything for this for Judy, but I would like to buy stuff like that. Even for my nephews, like I just miss getting to buy that stuff. <laughs> You're stupid. Um, for April Fool's Day, I feel like we should put these outside of our bathrooms in our house and not say anything. Business hours for dad's kitchen. Are you getting the story? Yes. What? You can buy that at Walmart? Oh, and in the morning. That is so cute. Oh, God, mosquitoes. Oh. I was getting ready to do it, but dad already did it. They have self-service propane, but I was gonna tell you, this is could be my hazard. Dad's kitchen, brussy sprouts. Listen to that. We're gonna change some noise so you can really hear it. Yourself the dogs are obsessed with my wounds. It's crazy. This is dinner. Chicken. Bressy sprouties with a little bit of sage sprinkles. What is it, Dad? Parmesan. Oh, Parmesan. Spipos. Potatoes. Can I speak to the architect, bud? We want some flowers for the anniversary. It just makes it extra special. This is to 11 years done with Dad. 11 See years, huh? Huh. Good job, you did it. Now see you tomorrow for 12. Are we doing awards? We're doing a video. This is one of our, is this our first Halloween decoration we bought together? The witch. 
She's a bitch. Yes, after the fire. Oh my god. How was your 11th year of marriage, Dad? That's a long time. How was my 11th year of marriage? Here he goes. We had a flood. We laughed. We cried. We had our ups. It was wonderful. everybody it's october 3rd this morning we didn't get to do our normal where we open the door oh my bandage is coming out we didn't get to do our thing where we say it's october 3rd because kenzie had cheer practice and it was dark when we left the house at like 6 50 in the morning but happy dd and daddy day to us and to all who celebrate dad went to work really early because we need to leave for arlington by like 11 ish because we need to have lunch and then the disney heroes and villains exhibit is from one until I think whenever you're done. But right now, I am gonna go get a sweet tea for dad to surprise him at work. I'm gonna show you the whole journey of the whole thing. That's time for the dad surprise. Watch, she's gonna come out right here. Oh, my name is Gray SUV. Dad's on camera. I got you a tea. I mean, he's the best. I love him. day socks. What are you wearing for your socks, Dad? These are mine. Lights. Camera. 11 year anniversary. Let the record show on our 11th anniversary, I was forced to walk like Willy Wonka because I have boo-boo here, boo-boo here, boo-boo there, covered in them. Hey, hi. Hello. Oh, wow, what's that? The rumblings of the person I've been married to for 11 years. Dad's gonna say some sweet nothings while I buy my jewelry. I have the best life ever because I'm married to Dee. Oh, and he's so oh, sweet and so kind so and so thoughtful and he's so- That's you. Like silly, but calm and loving and patient and thoughtful and just generous and That's giving awesome. and sharing and- I love you, Dad. He's the best. Give me a smoochers. And I love him. Oh, wait, have we? Well, yes, we kissed this morning. This is our second kiss of our 12th year of marriage. <laughs> wait. Oh, you smell good. Buttoned. Thank you. Buttoned or unbuttoned? Like, take unbuttoned. the shirt. I, I think you should take the black shirt off. And we're back. I made Dad take his shirt off underneath. Kenzie, this is what we wore on our anniversary, in case you were wondering. Let's make sure we do the numbers right this year. Wait, okay, this you... one has to go first. Yeah. Why, it's cuter? Yeah. No, really. No, wait, they're, now they're out of order. Dad, what do you mean? No, this is good. One, two, three, 11 years. Thank you. That's a long time. A long time. How many days is it, Dad? 4,017. Because of the leaps. This is what your dads look like after being married eight years. This is what your dads look like after being married nine years. Dear Kenzie, this is what your dads look like after being married for ten years. Love you, Todd. Dear Kenzie, this is what your dads look like after being married eleven years. Dad, what what is something you want to add to that's different in the eleventh year? Mine is, I have gray facial hairs now. You just have sparkles. Um, I glitter. This and these. What are these? Oh my gosh. You're like gorgeouser than ever. Okay. 
Here's a sentence I didn't think I'd say. Arlington, here we come. Are you gonna put your glasses what on? What do you wear to church? It's hard to get a good photo because I want this little like horseman in it so that it doesn't look like I'm wearing like a Mormon shirt. And dad said, you have that PTSD because you grew up going to Mormon church. Okay, more photos. Love is all around and I'm so So we're gonna do a little history lesson while we're at a red light. On December, oh wait, what? <laughs> On October 3rd, 2013, the day we got married, dad had flown in the night before from Texas. Yes. That morning, we got married, I believe at 11 a.m. We went to Don Jose's for lunch. Dad probably Mexican, had a chimichanga. Right? And then um, for dinner, we were so tired because we went down to Laguna Beach to get wedding day photos taken with a Mormon photographer. We were so tired that we thought it was a good idea to take a nap, wake up at 8.30 in the den at my parents' house, and go get El Pollo Loco for dinner. So we had Mexican food for lunch and El Pollo Loco at 8.30 at night for dinner. So should we get That's Mexican hot. for lunch? There is no Pollo Loco here. They have you on the border. Sushi? It's not go to good, El Pollo it's Mexican. Do they have Pollo Tropical? Oh, that's right. We're oh, in Texas, not fish. Florida. All right, here we go. Arlington or best? Hey, I hope you can see what I'm filming because I can't it's look. Cool. Oh. <laughs> look, that's Six Flags. Isn't that just what you wanted to see? No. Superman. So, we're by the Ranger Stadium. I believe that's baseball. Yeah. And the Cowboys is behind it somewhere? Yeah, the, we'll see the it really football clear stadium. Second. Okay, we'll see it really clear. Oh, that was a fun Oh, Batman. And Mr. Freeze. Oh, Mr. Freeze. Every summer we would come here. Really? As a family? No, my dad would pay for me and my brothers to go. Cute. Lunch is served. We only had time for kava, but you know what? That sounds amazing. Dad got chicken, I got steak. Let's eat. What is it? Greetings, human and earthlings. Guys, if there was awards for lunches, that lunch should win an award. Dad. Kava is so good. If you how? Oh my God. The yeah. guy from The Bachelor is literally everywhere. Hey. We keep seeing um, men in public that look just like this guy from The Bachelor. What is Squirrel trying to tell us? But dad, how fast was I eating my food? Like copper level. Like it was oh, so good. Like... Yeah. Win the awards. Yeah. Go out the way you came. Okay, cool. Bye. We're here. That's the Cowboys Stadium. The top opens up, Dad said. And now this is where we are. I know we have to be quiet, but they have really good merch in here. It's like really cute. They have a lot of bath bombs. Oh, Dad, look. These like things. I ship that duo. Oh my always itch. What? Oh my gosh, we need to get that for her. Okay, we're in. Whoa. That is cool. Wait, I wanna do it too. <laughs> you are you're floating towards a castle. Y'all, we are in a room with like literally so many iconic costumes. We haven't even like walked towards anything yet. Dad said that with art, you have to like take it all in. Okay, first up, we're gonna do the White Queen from Alice in Wonderland, worn by Anne Hathaway. This is so cool. And Helena Bottom Carter wore that one. Detailed. They're so pretty. Wow. That is so cool. Next up is a costume worn by Jake Gyllenhaal and Prince of Persia. We'll watch it. Pay attention to the knife. Okay. Let's zoom. Normally it's filled with sand. Wow, this is crazy. She wore a wig. That's so cool how the work goes into making these. A 
Aladdin. Penguin. Oh my gosh, wow, he's very small. Oh wow. What the heck? Worn by Danny DeVito and Dumbo. Oh, what a sweetheart. Except when he was Matilda's father. Parachute pants worn by Colin Farrell in Dumbo. Live action. We haven't watched that in a while. Oh, dad, 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 dad. This is one of dad's favorite movies. Wow, National Treasure. That's cool. Um, okay, worn by James Franco and Oz the Great and Powerful. And by Michelle Williams. Dorothy. Okay, this one is gonna be exciting to see. Y'all, this is so cool. This is worn by him in the third installment. But I'm very excited to see these. Dad! Wait, huh? Okay, we're um, up to Emma Watson. Brian Holgate is standing in front of something that Hermione wore. That's crazy. Like her skin cells are in Literally. Uh, one of my faves, Mary Poppins Returns. Look at that. Jubilee light. So iconic. This is just so cool. She has tiny feet. And what is his name? Richard Madden, the prince from Cinderella. That is like a good Halloween costume. Dad, no one's looking. Grab it. Stop, they have crow. Mm. Tomorrowland is asleep. Wait, they have something worn by Oprah? Don't and Reese Witherspoon? Y'all, Mindy Kaling, Oprah Winfrey, Reese Witherspoon. I love that even like wigs, they have one in the wig. Mindy's little. So little. Do you know Medic? I'm back for this one because I didn't get a close up. Oh, I love this. What a fun way to spin our Annie. Look at the back. Okay, let's look at this again. I mean, that is so crazy. Dad, we need to watch all these movies. If you're watching this right now, we haven't watched all these movies, let's watch them. Is this Emma Thompson? I'm pretty sure that's Glenn Close. Oh, oh! Mm. Yes, you're right. Yeah. Whoa. They've just got these like um, pieces of artwork on the wall. So we've got, yeah, Glenn Close's version of Cruella. And then we know her. And look at these, wow. This, Brian, this is That's what I want. So cute. Mary. Confessions of an Ugly Stepsister by Gregory. Like, the book was written by Gregory Maguire, the same guy that did Wicked. Luke Evans, and what is the other guy's name? So, Beast and Gaston. So, who were that? Uh, CGI. Renesmee, what are you doing here? We've never seen the Nutcracker in the Poor Realms, but we will get video of all of it. So if we ever do watch it, we will know who Mother oh, Ginger is. Lord. Oh, she is. That face. Oh, <gasps> stop, Dad. Oh my God. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, Anne Giselle. Oh my God. She wore that to the ball. How cool. Oh my gosh, okay, need a pick. She is little. Okay. Another iconic person, Jack Sparrow, worn by Johnny Depp. So cool. Let's step back. And this Very cool is... costume. Not the best movie. No, this one was painful to get through, honestly. But very costume. Very boisterous. I mean, this is like history pieces, Ted. 
This one was, is definitely in my top five of getting to see in person. Take your time, Dad. And look, a phase. We love Once Upon a Time. The Evil Queen. And Hook. All that glitters. What does it feel like? It's like leather and... and That's like Maleficent's stuff. train. We're headed to more Cinderella. But first, cool. Captain Barbosa from The Black Pearl. So the first movie. Yeah. Isn't it cool to be in the presence of all these things that were worn in such amazing movies? Like, look at this. Cape Blanchett and the sisters. Dad, isn't it weird to think when you watch this movie, you've been in the, like, right in front of these yes. costumes? It's crazy. But they didn't get the necklace. I love that they have, like, the headpiece, like, the wigs. Too. Me too. All right, the sisters. A Wrinkle in Time. I don't know that we were able to, to get through that. But this is what he wore. Oh my gosh. Worn by Mila Kunis. Betty Theodora. Kunis. Seriously. Whoa, that's cool. And it's cool seeing these things at Halloween. Yeah. But the star of the show is coming up next. So these are not the ones from the 90s Hocus Pocus. These are from 2022 Hocus Pocus 2, which we need to rewatch this month. Wasn't that cool though? Sarah Jessica Parker has been in this and Bette Midler. Okay, now this one's really cool. We are standing in front of something Meryl Streep wore. Are you serious? Are you serious? The Devil Wore Prada? That's what Dad said. The Devil Wore Prada. And this. Dad Betty Davis. I've written a letter to Daddy, but that is not this movie. This is the one with Kim Richards, right? Um, Stole her goddamn house. Yeah. Jack Frost, Santa Claus 3, worn by the one, the only, Martin Short. But why would Dad eat in this? Michael Keaton was in Dumbo? I don't even remember that. <gasps> oh. Mr. Wilkins. From Mary Poppins Returns. Guys, we still have so much more to go. We'll be right back. Next, we have we should watch this. Ben so Kingsley, good. Nizam, Prince of Persia. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do that. And then this is oh amazing. God. Oh my gosh, Dad, make me one of those. I did. Insert photos. Here. That's fun. What's funny is I saw him and I was like, oh my God, yes, we know him. And I was thinking of the guy from season one of Salt Lake Housewives. Remember when they're at the lunch and Mary Cosby's oh, like, you've upset. I don't remember his name though. Is this so fun? Yes. So this is Cruella de Vil from Once Upon a Oh, she's so it, short. It reminds me of um, the stage show. Emma Stone's Cruella, this is that outfit. I cannot wait for Cruella too. I hope that's still happening. Wow. Queen Narissa from Enchanted. Susan Sir. There's like so many iconic celebrities. Costumes are in this room. This is Susan so fun. Wore those shoes. Look at those. Susan, you're awful. You were. You made us cry and stepmom, okay? And then this was worn by um, Kira Knightley. We have not seen this, but when she was the Sugar Plum Fairy. Sugar Plum, I guess. Yeah, it really does. Uh, I was telling Dad, I'm so happy we came here. This is so fun. Peter Pan and Wendy. Who was hooking that movie again? Jude Law? Was that right? Very full costumes. Yeah, Judy Lahey. Red Riding Hood and um, The Wolf from Into the Woods. That's cool. The uh, tour guide is gone now, so we're gonna show you the rest of these things. So this is from the Santa Claus and TV. Oh my gosh, now this I need a picture of. Brandy and Whitney. Oh my God, we're speechless. We didn't know this was happening. Oh my gosh, dad. 
Are you seeing this? No, but I saw it. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my gosh, let me get to see the blue dress. Whoa. This is that right there. And perfect segue into going into the blue dress. And they have the glass slipper too. Wow. Whole oh, wow. How about that? This one is from what some argue is the best Cinderella adaptation, the Brandy Whitney Houston one. I haven't watched that one in forever. Worn by the one and only Brandy. Sketches. This was Cinderella in Into the Woods. This is worn by Anna Kendrick. Anna. She's little too. Cinderella from Once Upon a Time. You have to be true to the iconic Cinderella. For example, the iconic blue is of course important. We remain true to the silhouette. We just made it our own a little bit. We developed our own elaborate gowns and embroideries. Wow. Wow. Dad, let's have a kiss in the presence of these dresses. That's cool, right? So there's little references all the way through. So now we're going to look at some tiaras. One worn by Brandy, Anna Kendrick, Lily James, and Jesse Schramm. Guys, we've added into an enchanted dungeon. Michelle Pfeiffer from Maleficent. Oh, Maleficent too. That is so cool. I wonder what the purpose of having these ones behind this is. The crown jewels. The genie. Oh, Will Smith. Pre-slap, mind you. Who's next? Who is this? Evil Queen. Oh, Disenchanted. Is oh, this worn by Maya Rudolph? Yeah. yeah. Bless you. Hamulan. Wow. These are... This was worn by Nicole Kidman. She's so tall. Wow. That's incredible. And next up... <gasps> Descendants? Mel? Are you serious? That is so what? cool. 2011 parents who had children around the age these came out. Can I get a what what? We know every line to everything. Oh, we've got every line to every song. We've got the one and only Jamie Lee Curtis behind you, Dad. <gasps> when she was Leota in Haunted Mansion. All that glitters, the crown jewels continues. It looks like we're gonna be seeing props and stuff now. Oh my gosh, there's so much more stuff than I thought that there was going to be. Okay, this is for reference real quick. Two. Three. Hannah Montana earrings are in front of me right now. Um, those are Buffy's. Stop. Those are Buffy's earrings. Oh wait, no, Willow's. they're Willow's earrings. All of those were worn by Johnny Depp. That's number, nine. number nine right there is Sue Sylvester's ring from Glee. All worn in Alice. What's 20? Meryl Streep earrings from the post. Oh, we watched the post. Here's Alice. Wayne Zielinski. Here's the for reference guide for the next ones. Let's do 36. Earrings. Those are rings worn by Winnie Sand. No, the oh, no, we need to go 36. That's worn by Kathy and Jamie in Hocus Pocus 2. And the ones below were oh, worn by Winnie in Hocus Pocus 2 worn by Bette Midler. That is so right. That's the wedding ring that Wayne Zielinski wore in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Asylum, Jessica Lange's earrings, 42. Oh my god. Cool. And here's oh, our next cool. window. Dad. Go to 66. Oh Wanda. Oh my god. Elizabeth Olsen. The Scarlet That's Witch so rings. Cool. Oh my 
Oh, that is wow. Whoa, baby! Do they have Agatha? That right ring there. right there was worn by Sarah Michelle Gellar in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Saving Aww. Mr. Banks, Tom Hanks, Cuff Cuff Links. right there. Tom. Wow. Oh my gosh, we have all this. Necklaces and pendants. You've seen it. True Lies, worn by Jamie Lee Curtis. The, the necklace, the necklace. Whoa, oh from, my God, Cruella. from Cruella. Wow, the trouble they went through for I that. Know. Buffy's necklace. This necklace you're looking at was worn right there. In the bathroom with Buffy. Ooh, I know what this is. Uma, look how fun. Descendants 3. <gasps> High School Musical 2, that's the tea necklace. Three. That is so cool. It was worn in both, High School Musical 2 oh. and High School Musical oh, 3, right. senior year. Now you know. That's cool. Okay, pay attention. We're gonna Prince of Persia, it. the necklace. Shang -Chi. Oh, we should, we are watching Chi, that is good. Y'all, I don't wanna panic, but they have got a portrait of animal on the wall. Oh, wow, from they Black have Panther. Necklace, Didi, his necklace, his <laughs> Oh my gosh, I need a picture of that one. Chewbacca's medal? Whoa. So, Animal War that's on his Muppet. And the Muppets are in Manhattan too? Oh my god, that is so funny. Why is that wow. not horrible? I know. Like on Prison to the Break? next one? I do like Prison Break. It's a very good movie. I mean, Joe. Alien. Watches from Fantastic Four. Never seen it. Pocket watch used by Tom Hanks in Geppetto. I mean, in Pinocchio. When he was Geppetto. Look the how cute it is. That's okay, cool. that's cool. Lizzie McGuire, one of my faves. Oh. Her wristwatch. Dee Dee, pretty woman. Julia Roberts wristwatch. Wow. From Milan. Oh, Mel. Cool. Dove Cameron in Descendants 3. Oh. Evie's Tiara. Oh. And the Evil Queen. Okay, I have to get a picture of these from Judy. For all you greatest showman lovers. Yeah. The collar worn by Fat Louis. The tiara okay, worn by Fat Louis. That's cute, the collar. Mia Thermopolis's tiara. Oh my god, I'm so glad we did uh, this. Who wore this? Julie Andrews. I recognize some of this stuff. The greatest showman, that little hat. Bedtime story. Cast away. Oh my god, that's Oh my gosh, the little brain shows. Uh, Narnia oh was one of the first things god. Dad got me into after we got married, actually. Oh my god, how cool. Oh my god. King so Triton's cool. crown from Little Mermaid live action. Are Wait, step over here for the shadow. There we go. That's cool. Giselle and Disenchanted. It's a big crown. It's so funny how cheap that one looks. Pirates of the Caribbean, Giselle, Giselle's tiara in... Wait, Muppets where? The Sparks. Oh. We're in the Princess Diaries territory now. The Queen? So this was worn by Anne Hathaway. Seen up there. And the Royal Engagement. Let's zoom out. Beautiful. Is that what we think it is, Dad? I know. Tilta. Ooh, Jungle Cruise. Look, Dad. Oh, that's cool. Necklace worn by Emily Blunt and Wayne Johnson. All of them. Ursula's Vanessa. Ursula's main one. Special effects one. Wow. This is quite the exhibit. Dad gives it a enthusiastic two. I can't put my other thumb up, but two thumbs up. Look at him. Isn't it cool, Dad, with all this greatness? It has been such a treat to be here. What a fun memory to make for our 11 year anniversary. This exhibit feels very 11 to me on a scale of one to 10.
and we'll take this one with us. This room is just covered. Oh my heavens. I don't even know. It's very Halloween. I'll give it that. Ah! I'm literally scared this thing's gonna wake up. Lots of boobie. This is like, wait, what am I looking at? It's like, oh, this is like the boobie exhibit. I'm scared for what's around the corner. Now you can see the Cowboy Stadium. It's enormous. It's so big. And then there's the Rangers Stadium. We just don't get out here much. So it's we're just like Oh, I thought that was gonna say live with Oh my gosh. This is 11 years. And now we have time to go home and take a nap. Oh my gosh, I just read this and I think I'm gonna have to let everybody read it. I mean, this is the sweetest. Look, Kenzie made this from scratch, mind you. But that message, Dad, you are gonna cry. You my new favorite thing is zoomed in copper videos on this iPhone 16 Pro Max. Oh my God. It's like, it's like, it reminds me of The Office. You know how they do those like, through the oh, office yeah. window. What? What is it got? It's another anniversary check-in with Brian and Steven. Happy um, evening to you. Um, I just posted my 11-year Montal video that I made in Montal. And um, you guys, those comments are so cute. Oh my God. Like, you guys, I'm so glad that you're a part of my life. Because you guys are so nice. Why can't I be as nice with people as you guys in real life? Except when I do meet y'all on the Disney cruise. It's. So right now it's like this last week with like my like bandages and stuff and my like wonky haircut. It hasn't felt like October because I've been in pain and it's like my clothes are restricted to wearing things that try, don't bother my stuff, which is why today was like, like more difficult. That's why I switched to shorts to go to Kenzie's volleyball game. Oh yeah, that's where we're going right now. And then we're going to sushi for dinner. Um, and then we're gonna have our cake and watch heart stuff for the new season, season three. Um, but God bless you. And um, I always edit out this part when like, I'm like, oh, Didi, what are you even saying? I'll be like sitting, editing, I'm like, I will. But um, so this may never see the light of day. However, I'm hungry. I'm so tired. That's another thing I was gonna say. This morning I woke up at 4.15 and I never fell back asleep. So I told dad, I'm like, I'm so tired. Where is he? Boom, switch to the brown. Oh my, God. my anniversary so far has been- Magical. Exciting. Whimsical. Adventurous. Ooh. Um, fun, filled with love. Um, we got to do our favorite, we got to do a little bit of our favorite things. We got to, like, to, we got to go to a yummy lunch. We got to go get a touch of Disney in our life. Dad got tea. Okay. Oh, we got to rest and relax. We got to take the dogs on two walks. And now we're going to go watch Kenzie perform at volleyball. And then we're probably going to do another walk later, maybe, maybe that, not. That's and then we're going to go to sushi. That's her story. Are you getting that? Getting it. I don't get it. Do you like to sit, when do you like something? I'll say it 50,000 times, but you already knew that. Okay, I think I'm ready to go. Yeah, let's go. This song is my original. And this is what we're having for dinner. Volleyball went late, so we got it to go. And what? It's beautiful, Dad. The presentation's fine, don't worry about it. Is that eel sauce? Gross. It's tradition to drink some champagne or sparkly bubbly and look at you know who you are, who sent these. So cute, we're gonna drink out of them. They say Steven or Dee Dee or Brian or Dad or Brian or Stephen. Have you had a good dadiversary? 
It was a good one. It was very full, very sweet, very savory. I don't know what my head looks like in this video, but Dad's gonna do the celebratory popping of the Prosecco. Don't angle it towards the dogs. And we always save it. To our celebratory sing song of happy anniversary, sung to the by the birthday song. Dad, will you grab the cakes and meet me at the table? I will. Maybe we're singing our celebratory anniversary, then you can have your cake. Do you want a candle on yours? Uh, I'm okay. I'm just kidding. Wait, where'd you, where'd you get that sweatshirt? Mm -hmm. Where'd you get that? When we paid for it, when we paid that three hundred dollars for cheer folks. Okay, Dad, come see. Do any of the other athletes have to pay that much money for stuff? No, just the cheerleaders. What do you cheer for when you lead a cheer? Oh, I have feelings. Did you come you have to sing to us. One, two, three. Happy anniversary to Brian's. Happy anniversary to Dad. Happy anniversary to Dad. Dear Dad. Happy anniversary to you. Lovely day on Sunshine Way. Um, what gayer way to wrap up your gay dadiversary than to watch the new season of Heartstopper? Wait. As if, Dad would say, if you haven't watched if Heartstopper. If you haven't watched Heartstopper, you need to go watch Heartstopper. And if you know somebody who's like wondering about like how gay people are and what gay people's life and childhood and teen years is. Please go watch Yeah, this. this is the only, like, gay thing we watch, but it's literally, like, Disney gay. You like, it's so forget. innocent and sweet, and it's very important and sadness. And They're cute. Uh, a traditional sexy man toast. Brian loves Steven. Oh, I guess I should say, Steven loves Brian. Oh gosh, love you, Dad. Love Happy you. 11 years to many, many Happy more. Happy 11 years to 100 more, as you said. And may you all live a lot of years, too. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.